So hello students, again we are, we are coming back. We are back with a new video as I promised that I have a new session about trigonometry. So today actually we will solve few sums that are most commonly doubts uh, for various types of students uh, in the part of trigo. So today I will solve those few kinds of problems which will be actually in two different parts and in the first part will co gonna be covered a uh, few sum and in the second part the remaining portions so today we have selected few sums which are actually most commonly uh, doubtful sums in the chapter of trigo so students we have got the first question in our class so as far as we can see in the lhs we have this one and in rhs we have to solve it and it will be reduced to one let's see what happens so here in the LHS part as we can see here uh, actually you will write LHS and copy the same part here and from the next step what is going to happen here like uh, tan square a remains like that but here 1 plus tan square means as we know we can write there 6 square a and same like uh, like there cos square will be same remain like that but 1 plus cos square a will be cos x square a so here we have got already the result we are very close to the result like here right now i'll break all into sine and cos right now so tens tan means you know sine by cos so tan square will be then sine square a by cos square a and beside that there was uh, in denominator it was six square a. so if i take it to the numerator so it would be cos because you know cos and sec both are reciprocal to each other so here also i'll do the same thing like cot means cos by sine so it, uh, here it is cos square a, so it would be cos square a by sine square a then uh, it was cos square a in the denominator so it would be like uh, sine square a when i'll take it to the numerator so here it would come like this way so basically what we can see here uh, if we cancel this cos square cos square and here the sine square and, and sine square a, so we are remain with like sine square a plus cos square a. so as you know it's a formula and it's equals to one so very easily we have got the rhs part so hence it's proved so let's move on to the next sum. So we have we have got our question number two. Now let's see how the sums can be solved here. So let us uh, come uh, start from uh, LHS part. So so let's uh, start with the LHS part. Now here, as we can see, in uh, when we we'll start with this LHS, we'll again have, as I've told in the last uh, sum, we'll copy the same LHS part here and let's start from the second step actually that if we uh, see the first portion here I want to check uh, take everything in the uh, part of like sine and cos so what I'm doing here like uh, let me keep some space over here so here uh, it was sec of a so I'm writing that 1 by cos a as you know cos and sec they are reciprocal to each other like tan s plus I can write like sine a by cos a because you know sine uh, tan this is the last one that I've told like sine by cos but I'll keep this uh, cos a like same. I'll not uh, make any change over there. So now, if in this, in this, uh, just see uh, what that portion that I've highlighted. It's uh, like looks like a fraction. So in this fraction, what I want to uh, do, like here, I want to multiply cos a in numerator and denominator both. So what I'll get, like here, if I multiply cos a in numerator, so it was one. So cos a into one will be the same like cos a. But here, if I multiply uh, cos a in the denominator, so here you see 1 by cos a is there, so it will become 1, and then sine a by cos a is there, so it will become only sine of a. Because whenever I multiply this cos a, the denominator is having cos a, so the cos a and cos a will be uh, cancelled with each other. And in the next part, as it was, was like 1 by cos a, so it will remain like same. And here, if I like uh, multiply 1 minus sine theta in both the halves, like uh, cos a remain like the same, but 1 minus sine a in numerator and denominator of the first uh, fraction actually if you say so when you are multiplying like this sorry it is uh, only sine a so whenever you are multiplying like this you, you can see very easily that in numerator you are getting 1 plus sine into 1 minus sine a so this formula you uh, already knew from class 9 factorization chapter that a plus b into a minus b will give you a square minus b square so here you will get a square means 1 square so 1 square will give you another one 1 minus sine square of a very easy and in the denominator uh, numerator if you check there it is uh, was a cos a and 1 minus sine so i'll not make any change over there why i'm not multiplying it will get to know uh, after a few steps sorry uh, that i've missed this uh, second part uh, actually there is no change that's why i have forgot to write that actually so here if you uh, do the next step now so here you will see that uh, there was a cos a uh, in numerator and in denominator also right now you will get another one cos a, square a because you know that 1 minus sine square is equal to cos square 
So now uh, you can see very easily that is the fast uh, expression, fast part. You can cancel one cos a right now. So here, if I cancel cos a, so another one cos a will be left in the denominator. So here, see what else are left like one minus sin a whole divided by cos a, and that side it was one minus cos a. So right now, as I can see uh, in the RHS, if I show you the RHS part, so if you see the RHS part right now, uh, you can see that there was a one by cos a in the front so what i want to do here that i will do the partial fraction over here so that uh, i'll get another one one by cos a uh, just like in rhs so here i will do the partial fraction and i'll get one by cos a then there will be sin a by cos a and then the same like there was only one by cos a and that will be remain like same and here as i've got this one by cos a just like rhs so i'll not disturb this i'll keep it like the same but in the next two part i will do the lcm and as you know as you can see here like cos a exists in both the numerators so you know it to do lcm so it will be cos a and as minus sign comes over here so everything uh, will be changed their sign like uh, both were minus so both will be right now plus so it would be then your sign a plus one so i think you can see this very clearly that uh, we are already very close to the proof because what i want to uh, do here like as they have got sec and cosec so right now what i want to do I will multiply up and down with uh, sin a uh, minus 1. So like this, see this was sin a plus 1. So I can write this very easily 1 plus sin a. That should be not a very big problem because you know plus is commutative operator. So I want to multiply 1 minus sin a up and down for the next fraction. It's the second fraction actually. So in the denominator cos a was already there. So I'm multiplying 1 minus sin a. So see what I'm getting actually. Actually here, uh, uh, if I take it to the right side, basically here is no place now. So I want to take it to the right side um, to make a more space. So here, uh, what you can see now, uh, if I do from here, so the next step will be like this: one by cos a was there, and then if you check the upper part, that is the numerator one, so it would be giving you one minus sine square a for the same reason, like a plus b into a minus b, so it will give you a square minus b square. And in the denominator, if you check it, there was a cos a, and there was a one minus sine a. So now. As you can see that there 1 minus sin square a is there so it would be cos square a and in down it was cos a and there was 1 minus sin square another one so here I can cancel one cos a so one cos a will be only left in the numerator and we are at the last step so here what I want to do here so I want to zoom in and I want to finish up the last step over here like this way like it is 1 by cos a and then I want to divide by cos a in for the second fraction both in numerator and denominator so what I will get cos a by cos a will give you me 1 in numerator and in denominator if you check it was 1 so 1 by cos a means it will give me sec a and then sin a by cos a it will give me tan a so I think that you can see very clearly that we have got our RHS let me show you one what was the RHS actually check what's there that here is your, was your RHS and you can very easily check that the same thing that we have got over here in this last euro rectangle so students have got the proof and as you can see the sums are a little bit lengthy because uh, this uh, sums are actually uh, as a, uh, taken from the last part last portions from the exercise so it would be a little bit uh, like huge in size if you say but what i will recommend you if you uh, practice these kinds of maths daily and it would take very less time and you can understand that what is the requirement to uh, get the rhs part get the proof part immediately so i I uh, don't want to jump any kind of step over here that's why it's take much more longer and I would recommend you to also not to check as uh, like uh, jump any kind of step that so that if your copy will be much more presentable and also already we have got the like question number three in our class so as you can see in the LHS part if you closely uh, observe it uh, you can see very easily that RHS part what they are asking actually for like 1 plus sec a plus cos a so here if you can see here first of all as I have told you you have to copy the LHS first then in the next step what uh, we should uh, do here like in this first case in, uh, in the first parenthesis that you can see the sign a I want to write this sign in the reciprocal form so I will get cos a and uh, then I uh, will not make any change in the sec a so it would be like, same like that square now uh, uh, so this square has getting some that so now uh, yeah well i go to the second bracket the second case second expression that i was cos a plus cos a is whole square so i'll write there in the place of cos a 1 by sec a plus i'll not make change any make uh, any change in the cos a but why i've done like this because you see the proof it was 1 plus sec a cos a so 
if I now, whatever you can see in the screen, if I now do the LCM, you will see in both cases, I'll get 1 plus cosec A into sec A in the numerator. Just let me do the next step. If I do the LCM for the fast bracket, see what we are getting. So, sec A cosec A is whole square. And if you check the second bracket as well, we'll get the same thing. But in denominator only, it's the chain that the sec A is coming. So, 1 plus sec A cosec A it's whole square so we are getting the same thing so now if i go to the uh, next step what i'll do first that i'll take common this one plus sec a into cosec a this part it's whole square this part i'll take common so what will be left from the first first it will be left like one by cosec a square and from the second part it will be left like one by sec square in sec a square so now if i just uh, again uh, do the reciprocal of them like i'll not make any change in the first uh, this expression because it's already in the proofs so are not disturbed in any way so next part what was there one by cos cosec so i know that we you know that one by cosec means sine so like here i'll get sine square and there one by sec is there so sec is the reciprocal of cos so one by sec square means i'll get cos square of a so here what will we'll get like we'll get the proof very immediately because we know that if we write the formula like sine square a into plus cos square it's a square relation so it gives us one so anything multiplied in one will give the same so we have got the proof what we tried to make so here you can see the full sum in the screen that uh, if i do the um, if i multiply this one and i'll get this same thing what they have given in this one so it's very easy and i hope you can solve this kind of sum now very easily on your own so try it out in your uh, homework so next uh, i'll go to the next problem so students now we have got the problem number four so here we can see that there is a proof uh where i can notice one thing that here you can see that uh they've taken something uh, like tan and sine and it has been converted to sec so i'll recommend you to do here like this way like uh as like before so in lhs we'll copy the sum of the lhs part of the sum first and we'll start from the next step and i'll recommend you to do right now here like uh break the tan into sine and cos so tan means you know sine a by Cos it and then your sine was there already. Uh, hold the valid right. Uh, same thing I'll do for the geometer part as well. Like sine by cos, then uh, as it is sine a was there. But here, see, uh, if I now like uh, do uh, take that sine common up and down, means the numerator and numerator both. So what will be left? So from numerator, if I take this sine common, see it's left like one by cos a my plus one and from the new denominator if you check that if i take this sine a common so it will be like one by cos a minus one so now i can cancel this to sine a and in this um, uh, numerator case one by cos a you have got so you can write easily sec because you know that sec and cos they are reciprocal to each other and plus one was there and the denominator also i can write the same way like one by cos means sec a and i think we have got the rhs part of our proof so let's check once like yeah we have got already so you know very easily we have got the proof for this sum and i hope you can solve this kind of sum now in your home very easily so let's move on to the next sum so students we have got the next sum uh, with us and here it's uh, not like uh lhs or HS, but they have given us some expression here you can see this is the given data so based on this given data we have to show this one that proof that what a theta is equals to root 2 plus 1 so let's see what we can do so means that here we have got something in the form of sine and cos and we have to convert this same thing in the form of what so right now let's see how much you can do like uh, in the given case uh, if i uh, rewrite that so given that so then we'll copy the same thing what they have given so sorry it would be cos theta and root 2 so whatever it is given we'll copy it now students as you know from the uh, conjugate uh, like uh, complementary rules and uh, like sine of 90 minus theta means you can write cos theta very nice so in the next step i'll do the same thing so i'll not make any change in the lhs part what i'll want to do in the rhs part in the sine 90 minus theta part i'll replace it by cos theta because it's a formula now in the next line i'll just take this cos theta this cos theta in the uh, rhs part i'll take it to the down like uh, it will look like this way sine theta plus cos theta was already there by cos theta will come by this cross multiplication and this will be left so what i'll do right now i'll do this uh, like partial fraction right now like here it will be like sine theta by cos theta and then plus cos theta by cos theta actually this partial fraction looks like this way in the graph i'll show you like this like a plus b by c if you have then you can write a by c plus b by c just that and nothing else so i've done and done like the same kind of thing so here what we can see now like sine theta by cos theta means it will give us like tan theta and this will be one and there is group left 
Now in the next line, if you do like tan theta is equal to two minus one, so we have got actually a value of tan theta, but we need to actually cot theta. And as we know, cot and tan they are reciprocal to each other. So if I now reciprocal put the side, like this tan will become cot theta, and that will become one by root two minus one. That's it. And uh, in class nine already we have uh, done the chapter rationalization, means the rational number. We know how to do the rationalization. So we'll not keep any root part in uh, down. So I'll multiply root two plus one up and down. So it will look like this way. And uh, we have got the same kind of formula like here, like a plus b into a minus b. So we can apply the formula and we know the formula is a square minus b square. So here root 2 plus 1 will be left in the numerator and the numerator it will come root 2 square minus 1 square. And easy, easily you can do it very uh, like in mental math, like it will give you in the numerator it will give you 2 minus 1 and 2 minus 1 means 6 1. So I can I think many of you have already got your result. So root 2 plus 1 and which is actually the value of this quad theorem and I think if you see that we have got the result also because you see then the proof they have uh, asked to show that the value of this quad theta, quad theta will be root 2 plus 1 here is it so I think you very easily can understand this kind of problems that how to uh, understand the things and how to go get back the, the required part so let us move on to the next one so first of all as I can see here uh, they have given 7 sin square theta plus 3 cos square theta so as we know sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals 1 so here we have 7 sin square theta so what I want to do here like 7 sin square theta I want to split it into 2 half like I write here 4 sin square theta and I'll separate uh, 3 sin square theta from it so you can see if I add 4 sin square theta plus 3 sin square theta I'll get again the 7 sin square theta so why I have done like that because you see if I do like this I can take 3 common from these two parts like the uh, second and the third term so and then what I want to write you probably have understood that if I take common this 3 so inside the bracket I'll get sin square theta plus cos square theta which will give me a 1 so in the next line what I can do this 4 sin square theta will be remains like same but this 3 into 1 I'll get because I know that sin square theta plus cos square theta will give us 1 now if you check back this 3 into 1 means it will give you 3 and this 3 will be going to the right side it will give us minus 3 so 4 minus 3 means it is equals to 1 so the next step what I'm getting that 4 sin square theta is equals to 1 so what I can do right now that uh, this 4 I'll take it to the right side so sin square theta is also I'm getting 1 by 4 and that is definitely giving us like if I remove this square it would give me a root over in the other side so which will give me half now in this place of this half what I can write that half means actually we can write sine of 30 degree isn't it because sine 30 is also half so both sides this operator sign will be removed from here and theta is equal to have got 30 degrees so we have got the required result so uh, that they have when they have asked that what is to find out the value of theta i think you can uh, we have got the value of theta so we can write over here that the value of theta is equals to actually 30 degrees so that's our result so this was also quite easy i guess and uh, so we can move on to the next sum and i hope that this kinds of sum if you face in your book you can solve it very easily so let's move on to the next sum so students the next sum is with us and uh, there is uh, another one proof that so we have to actually prove it prove that so let's see what can be done here so same like the last sum the LHS we have to copy whatever given in LHS then from the next step what you can do uh, here as I can see uh, you can do one thing here like uh, you keep this sine theta but uh, as I can observe right, writing down so if I write it first of all cosec theta plus cot theta because as plus is committed if the property hold over there but if I want to multiply up and down both cases like uh, cosec theta minus cot theta see why i am multiplying so if i want to multiply i cannot multiply only in the de 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 denominator i have to multiply the same in the numerator as well so same thing i am multiplying in numerator also but why i am multiplying because if you see the denominator right now so it's like the same like a plus b into a minus b so it will come like a square minus b square and which has turned out to be like cos x square theta minus cot square theta so here it will give me one in denominator so in one in denominator it doesn't have any kinds of meaning so we will have a linear form so like if I now multiply in the numerator like sine into cosec, sine and cosec both are reciprocal to each other. So if I multiply sine and cosec it will give me 1. So like it uh, will give me 1 and then minus and then what means what? Cos theta by sine theta. So when you are multiplying with sine theta, sine sine will cancel and get only cos theta. If there is any kinds of problem I am showing in rough ones like sine theta into cot theta means what? Cot means you will get here cosec cos by sine. So whenever you are multiplying with sine, another one sine theta, so this, this sine will cancel and will get cos theta as a result. So here you are getting cos theta as a result. So if you scroll down and if you write the next step, you will get only 1 minus cos theta because this will give you 1 and as I have explained you before that 
writing denominator one doesn't have any make any sense. So right now what I want to do, I will look at the proof once. Like in proof, there is a two. So what I want to do here, like I will force my write a two and I'll balance it. Like there was one, I've written two, so I have to minus one. So to balance it because two minus one will give you another one one which was here. So we have to balance the previous line. So right now I don't want to disturb this two because this two is already in RHS, so I'll keep it there. But I will common minus from the second and the third expression, or you can say third terms. So here you have got one plus cos theta. So here what I want to do, I'll multiply one minus cos theta up and down. Up and down means there was one plus cos theta. I will multiply one minus cos theta here and here. So then next what I will get, see one minus cos theta and one plus cos theta, there it will give me one square minus cos square theta because it is a plus b into a minus b so it will give you a square minus b square form and in numerator it will be remain like that same thing like one minus cos theta and if you look properly here like uh, this uh, one square means it will give you one only and this cos square theta is cos square theta so one minus cos square theta will give you actually sine square theta so here you are getting sine square theta by one minus cos theta again i want to show you the proof once if you see the proof right now again so there was sin theta up, a single sin theta, but you have got two sin theta. I mean sin square theta means you have two sin theta, sin theta in multiply form. But in denominator there was quad minus cosine. So see how the sum will change in the next step. This is a very vital step and see how the sum will be changed over here. Like this two I will not touch it, but this sin theta, one sin theta will keep over there. Another one sin theta or you can think like this way as well. Okay, I will make these things uh, much easier for you. So I will divide sin theta up and down. Okay, so here also I will divide sin theta. I am dividing with sin theta. So what I should get? In numerator you can see one sin theta is going to be cancelled out. So one sin theta is left. So here you can see that one sin theta will be left. And in denominator if you do the partial fraction as I have uh, shown you in last sums as well. Like you have one minus cos theta by sin theta. So if you do partial fraction it would be giving you one by sin theta. Then minus cos theta by sin theta. So same way what you can see like one by sin theta means you will get cosec theta over here. So I will write here one cosec theta and minus cos theta by sin theta means you should know that it is quad theta so let's see that we have already reached to a proof or not or anything else are left yeah anything something are left over there like if you see properly here in the proof it was given like quad theta minus cos theta quad theta minus cos theta and beside two it was plus sign so let me change it to plus sign and let me finalize this proof so i'll just uh, make it plus how because i'll insert this minus sign in the denominator so then the denominator will be actually swipe it with uh, interchange the places like it will become quad theta minus cos sec theta so finally you have got the RHS part and the same like your RHS and which gives you the proof part so I hope you have understood this one as well and this was also quite easy and uh, full sum is in your screen right now so I think you can understand very easily so let me know in the comment, uh, comment section that if you have any kinds of doubt to understand any any of the sums uh, okay let us move on to the next sum then students the next sum is also with us right now so it is also approved that so in LHS I'll copy the same thing and now let's see how we can show the RHS part so first of all as I do in the every sum so I'll recommend you to change everything into sine and cos so first of all as is in uh, proof also you can see everything in sine and cos so whatever you can see you have to change it into now sine and cos so first of all what I can do right now like this what means what cos by sine so I'll write it cos theta by sine theta then next what is a like cosec so cosec means 1 by sin theta now then minus 1 and in denominator what we have like same thing but with some different sign like what is there so cos by sin then minus cosec is there so minus 1 by sin theta then plus 1 is there so if I multiply now sin theta up and down so what I will get or you can do LCM as well so if I do LCM now then sin theta will be the LCM then I will be cos theta plus 1 minus sin theta and in denominator also if you do the LCM so sin theta will be the LCM only and you will get in denominator like cos theta minus 1 plus sin theta so here these two sin theta we can cancel and finally what we are getting like cos theta um, plus 1 minus sin theta and then cos theta minus 1 plus sin theta so this much thing we are getting so here students I want to show you one more thing like in proof uh, there is 1 plus cos theta in R so basically what I am trying to do here like I want to make that 1 plus cos theta in numerator so what I am doing simply I am multiplying 1 plus cos theta in numerator wow like uh, whatever things were there I have written but extra I multiplied 1 plus sorry 1 plus cos theta but if I want to multiply this 1 plus cos theta I cannot multiply only in numerator I have to multiply the same thing in numerator as well so what else were there in numerator 
I will write it and I will uh, multiply that 1 plus cos theta in denominator also. So let's uh, multiply this and let's check what else we are getting. So first of all, <coughs> if you keep the same thing in denominator, uh, numerator, so I am not making any change over here, I will keep the same thing but I want to multiply the uh, lower part like this way, uh, let us put minus, means I am taking minus common so it would be 1 minus cos theta. Let's check that whether you have understood or not. So it was same thing if you multiply it, minus 1 will be there and plus cos theta, minus minus plus cos theta will be there. So I have written the same thing but in different form. So why I have written in different form? Because I will multiply it right now and it would uh, like uh, make the multiplication much more easier. Like I will keep the same thing in denominator so I am copying the same thing in denominator. <coughs> And now in new, uh, so I am copying the same thing in uh, numerator, now I will multiply the numerator, so like first I will multiply the sin theta with this 1 plus cos theta, so I will get like sin theta plus sin theta cos theta. Now I will multiply this one with this, now you can see that it is a plus b into a minus b form, so as it was a minus sign I was there, so I will keep the minus sign, then I will write a plus b into a minus b which will give me the same formula like I have used in several sums to this class like a square minus b square. So I want to write the formula here in the right side. Uh, maybe some of you uh, cannot remember this formula but this formula was in class 9 in the chapter factorization. So it was actually a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b into a minus b. So that's all. Now let us get back to the sum again. So it would be a square minus b square actually. So a square means 1 square so which will give you 1 and minus b square which will give you actually 1 minus cos square theta. So the benefit, uh, benefit you will get right now that <coughs> again I will copy the same denominator like cos theta plus 1 minus sin theta and then 1 plus cos theta but you will see that here this 1 minus cos theta like everything will be remain same but there is your 1 minus cos, cos square theta will give you a sin square theta what will ultimately make a difference here like everything what you can see in this denominator part everything is having at least 1 sin theta so I will take the sin theta common so what is left 1 plus cos theta minus sin theta and you will see that that in upper part in here what was there the same thing like cos theta plus 1 and minus sin theta so now you can cancel both the things and you had a 1 plus cos theta in, a, uh, in the numerator so I hope that we have got our RHS part that 1 plus cos theta by sin theta which is equals to the RHS so let me show you the full sum again over here like uh, yeah, it is solved already. So what was our RHS and whatever we have got. So I think uh, yeah, our proof is totally ready because see in RHS we had the same thing. 1 plus cos theta and we had 1 plus cos theta here and denominator it was sin theta as well. So the sums are not quite very difficult if you practice them every day. So I think they are very much easier and uh, there will be a next video very soon and which will contain more such this kinds of sums and if you uh, learn this properly I hope that the full chapter you can solve very nicely. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you meet in the next class. Jai Hind, Vandamataram and keep in touch. Stay tuned on Math Magic for more such videos.